1641 from the book. Uh, your problem might be different if you're doing it with the homework, but 4.2% ionized. That means that it's basically ability um, to act as a base. So in this case, in 41, it's acting as a base, it's receiving the proton. So what percent of it actually does that is what this means. Okay, the percent that actually goes through the reaction I'm going to write down. So you want to write down your standard acid and base uh, reaction plus water. Okay, that's a liquid. Goes to NH4 plus plus so uh, water lost one. So OH minus. And then, let's see, it doesn't give you the K, so you'd have to look that up. Uh, in mine, it gives KB, so you can find this in the textbook or somewhere. KB, if I have this right, is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay? I know I'm looking for a KB because this is a base, it's acting as a base. Okay, now let's see what else. So, when you see this, like, if they're asking about pH, or they tell you about pH, or if about percent ionization or something like that, that's an ice table sort of thing. Okay, so immediately you want to think ice table. Right? It's percent ionization, pH, whatever. So let's try that. I, C, and E. All right, and so in our ice table, we're going to ignore the water because it's a liquid. The problem is, so what it asks you, what's the molarity of ammonia? The problem is we don't know that, right? It asks you what it is. So we're just going to pick a variable, whatever. What's your favorite variable? Z, like Z, Q, X. Well, we're going to use X right oh, here. Okay. So, um, D. D. Okay, great. D, the letter D. Okay, that's the initial concentration. That goes right here nice. So that's what we want to find. Okay? So, zero and zero. Just like any other ice table, that's going to be no different. Okay, so far? Okay. So now, what we want to do is mess around with our X and stuff like that. And... So we'll go x minus, uh, oh, plus x, going to lose here and gain here. Where is that? Yeah. How do you know that those two are zeros? How do you know that these two are zeros? If you're doing a weak acid or a weak base, and you're setting up an ice table, these will always be zeros. So weak acid or weak base. I know it's weak because it's not on the table. 5.2 or whatever that table is. And so I'm just going to have a number right here. I'm not going to have any number right here. It's going to be equal to zero. That's always going to be true. It'll be an unusual question where it's not zeros there. And in that case, they'd have to give you the numbers that go there. Is that okay? Okay. Um, and so this will be D minus X x and x and I want to kind of add something in here uh, do our definition of percent ionization so I'll do that kind of on on the side here I guess percent percent ionization equals now I'm gonna set this up a little different than your solutions manual does but you can do it that way or my way, whatever. Okay. So percent ionization is actually going to be x. This, this value, whatever it turns out to be, the concentration of OH, that number, divided by the initial concentration, in our case, D. It's always this, times by 100. If you wanted the general formula for a base, it's OH minus concentration 
divided by the concentration of the base times 100. That's the general formula. But in our case, the concentration of OH is X, concentration of the base is D times 100. Is that okay? So that's your percent ionization. Uh, whatever formula you want. I just put it specific for us.